Welcome back to Mr. Agam, everyone. We're playing some more of The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask. We're right near the end, and last episode we did the Cafe and Anji quest. It was great. We shall greet the morning together. Oof. Right in the fields. Today, I reckon we'll do some mini games around Clock Town here because we've missed quite a lot of them. It's gonna be all fun and games. And then the moon's gonna fall. I really want to experience some of like the heaviness of what happens when the moon falls. Like we can have lots of fun. We can get some pieces of heart. It's gonna be great. But like seeing that last quest, we will greet the morning together. Man, that's rough. This game has some heavy stuff. So we're gonna see that today. And we're going to get the last mask as well. West Clock Town. There's the Postman's game we can play. Out of office. Oh, okay. 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Okay, we'll come back later. We'll come back for that. Enter all disciples and those who choose to be enlightened in the way of the sword. Oh, sick. We get some, oh, bit of some sword training right at the end of the series. This training center has friendly, polite, 24-hour, one-on-one training that will noticeably improve your sword skills. Get the sword out. Here we go. We're going to jump slash. Yeah, jump slash. Jump slashing with A-game. Yeah, lock on and jump slash. Only six more to go. Yeah, big slice. Great slice. You can jump slash all you want. Perfect. Lovely. On the opposite end. Here we go, one more. And done! First try. What a win. Can't believe it. Go, my dude. Hmm, impressive. I must give you something. Here. Oh, fantastic. Got a piece of heart. Unbelievable. Cherish it well. Thank you, good sir. Namaste to you too. Before we do some more games, I just have to pick up something. Just, uh, well, you'll see it later, all right? Want to buy a powder keg? 50 bucks. Yeah, f uh, give me that. I, I need that. I just, I'll explain later. In the last episode, we also got the postman's hat, so we can control the mail. When you control the mail, you control information. You are doing a great job. ka -ching. Some item other than a letter has been deposited. Ka-ching. Oh, sick. What do we get? Oh, another piece of art. Oh, my gosh. That's very good. That's very well and good. Let's go to the shooting gallery. If you think you can do it, why don't you give it a try, Sonny? Hit as many red ones as you can within the time limit. If you hit a blue one, you lose time, so watch out. All right, let's go. Perfect score. High score's 39. Where's our arrow? Hello. One, two, three. Oh, motion control's are good. We're looking good. We're feeling fresh. Bat, bat, bat. Going for perfect score straight up. Hello. One, two. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Who's number one now? My dude. Yeah. Just some casual shooting in the morning. No worries at all. No worries at all. Bat, bat, bat. Okay. Ooh. Straight down the guts. All three of them. How are we looking? Ooh. One, two, three. Okay. 20 more to go. Oh, it's five, five of them. Huge. Nah, we're good. We're fine. Okay. Nah, we're fine. We're, we're fine. There's still 12 more. 12 more in like 10 seconds? All right, nine more. Huh. Lovely. All right, five more. One. Yeah, look at that. Perfect score straight up. Oh, man, life is good. Oh, it even gives me a perfect. I would like that piece of heart, please. Well, here you go. That's not a piece of heart. You got a good score at the township. I got the best score at the Are you going to give... Give me both of them. But I won. Oh my gosh. Do this again. Oh. Mr. Reagan. Suffering through success. A few moments later. Give me that perfect... Two in a row. Thanks a lot. Give me that. Let's go see what the mayor's up to. I love listening to their conversations. Most of the townsfolk have already taken shelter without waiting for the mayor's orders. The only ones left are public servants and committee members. Mr. Mayor and Carnival committee members, please order those who remain to evacuate. Ah, uh, well... You cowards! Do you actually believe the moon will fall? The confused town folks simply caused a panic by believing this ridiculous, groundless theory. The soldiers couldn't prevent the panic, but outside the town walls is where the danger is. You want answers? The answer is that the carnival should not be cancelled. Isn't that right, Mr. Mayor? Uh, well... Are you serious, Muto? It seems that giant chunk of rock above us hasn't caught your eye. At this time every year, we are overrun by tourists. So why is the town empty? Clearly, it's your job to ensure the carnival's operation, but that's only if people are here for it. Don't drag the merchants and soldiers into this. 
And if the soldiers wish to run, then run, Vissen. We councilmen will stick through tradition. This carnival will be a success. I've never heard of a defense unit abandoning its town. Madame Arola would surely say the same thing, wouldn't she, Mayor Dotor? Let's not bring my wife into this. These people, arguing, disgusting. They need the power of love, and we're gonna do that without couple's mask. Ah! 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 The couple's mask. What a nice reminder. So a young couple has been married. I wonder, did my wife flee? What? What did you just say? Yes, yes, everyone. We are all worried for our families. Why don't we end this meeting? But Mr. Mayor, this will do. Whether you're stubborn and choose to stay, or if you prefer to run away to seek shelter for your family, that is for the people to decide on their own. We fixed it. Thank you for allowing me to put an end to all that pointless bickering. Adults are also stubborn. It is shameful. Here is a token of my gratitude. Oh man, another piece of heart! Oh man, oh, look at us go, we're flying. Well, I may be an unreliable mayor, but at least my family can depend on me. I want to protect my wife. That's nice, man, that's beautiful. Good has been done here today, hasn't it? Man, that was a good time. Captain Visson, we are not people. We are soldiers. As long as there is even a single person left in this town, it is our sworn duty to protect them, at all costs. Ah, so even the gate guards. On with our duties! I know it is not easy. Thank you for devoting your lives to this town. Oh man. Here comes the postman! <laughs> Hello, good sir. He's back! Kid, what do you want? Four? Five? Six? Yeah. What? Those ears! Oh, they're fake. You startled me. Don't disrupt my trading. In my mind, I am running for exactly ten seconds without looking at a clock. I was in the middle of mental training. You may make fun of me, but this is quite difficult. Will you try? Yes. Press A to start, counts 10 seconds. Okay, all right, let's do it. Okay. 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 Let's get the control, I'm ready. Oh, first try! Bang on 10! First try! That is amazing! You have the reflexes suitable for a postman! As thanks for showing me something impressive, I give you this. Oh man, an another one. Thank you very much. Oh dear, that was great. It's midnight. Here we are again. Hello, old lady. Excuse me, I'm just passing through. He's back. What a butt. Ouch, watch where you're going. Stop, thief, I'm just an old lady. Give me my money back. Get out of here, get out of here, second. Thank you, since he didn't make off with them, I can finally stock big bomb bags at our shop. Maybe I'll put them out tomorrow. That was for the final mask. Hey, we need to do that. Anyway, we're off to the ranch. Everyone laughed at me when I came to pick up this big powder keg, but look at you all now. Haha, <laughs> yeah, you thought. Beautiful. Here we go again. We're doing this so that way, at the end of the three days, there's some really heavy dialogue with Romani and Kremia, but you have to do this first. So we'll just, like, help protect the farm. If you stand here you'd have a pretty good vantage point of like everything. So get rid of him. See, this quest is a lot more calmer when you just stay in one spot. Get rid of this guy. Let's do a nice sweep of the area. There we go. Knock them all back. And there we go. Now we wait again. One. Two. Three. Missed one, no worries. It's all the way back. Four. Five. Six. Oh, easy. There we go. Just, yep, just do the sweep. Oh, okay, he can, like, get, get out of here. That should do it, I reckon. Should be all done. Should be all done. Should be all done now. It should be all done. It should be all done. Sun, where are you? Where's the sun? Oh, there we go. Oh, it's 5.15. I thought it was 5 a.m. Very good. Okay, that's out the way. Now we can continue with our lives. A reward for my hero. Oh, sick. A, a fishing pass hole? There's a fishing hole? Let's see what's going on with the people in the common room. <laughs> the common pleb room. Yeah, big bro, I'll be coming home soon. <laughs> he had a tough night down at the milk bar, if you know what I mean. If we put on the cool mask though, look at him. Oh, yeah, splitting image. Too bad it's no use, hopeless even. Today, I just don't have it in me to get up and face the world. No way, no how, nothing doing. What can I do, boy? 
Our carnival performance, it was cancelled. Everyone in the troupe is working so hard. This is our big break to have it cancelled just like that. I just can't bear to tell them. Hey, Sonny, bring me some sweet nectar, will ya? You know the stuff, that special milk my bros make that instantly heals an upset stomach. If only I had some of that to drink, it would give me the courage to tell my troupe. Uh, yeah, bring me that milk, but first let me nap a bit more. For my health, you know. Bring it once it's past noon, got it? Alright, gonna get some fraternal milk. <laughs> Yeehaw! At the Gorman track. Hello, boys. Good to see ya. Yo, that mask. That there belongs to our little brother. Hey, big bro, take a look at this fella here. Wait, hold your horses. Does this mean something happened to middle bro? What? Special milk to help him feel better? Yes. Criminy, don't tell me. That glutton drank too much milk again, didn't he? Middle bro loves him his milk, but he always chugs it till he's got a dilly all a belly ache. Say no more. This herb to wake him up, this roof to shake him up. Oh, that's the ticket. Now all that's left is, Big bro, you gotta mix it up real good. Middle bro's belly depends on it. Calm down, you fool. Like, I need you telling me how to do my work. All right, it's done. But you gotta hurry. This milk is special, but it spoils fast. Careful now. Oh, yeah, you got mystery milk. <laughs> Oh, there's a timeout. We gotta run. Excuse me. All right, we're leaving. We're going. We're, we're on our way. Oh, there's a big bird here. But I'm kind of low on magic. I just want some magic. No, no, no. Get, no, no, no. Okay, no chasing the bird. No having bird stuff today. All right, you get out of here. <sighs> oh, hey, Angie. How are you? Oh, oh, she's going. The crazy thing about Majora's Mask, which, like, I absolutely love, is that once you've done a quest and you go back in time, you have to live with the knowledge that all the work that you've done is now undone. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, that's such, like, a hard-hitting concept to deal with. Anyway, get back in the... D -d Deliver the milk. Imagine being a little kid and you're like, I just saved the whole world. Oh, nope, gotta do it all over again. Take the milk. Oh, yes! In that bottle. That's from my big bro, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, take the milk. Chuggy, chuggy. Ah, that indescribable taste. Nobody else makes milk like this. Hey, thanks for that. I mean it. You brought me back to life. Now be a champ and toss this old bottle for me. Or don't. For all I care, you can keep it to store bugs and junk in. Whatever suits you. There we go. There's the last bottle. Isn't that exciting? With the Andrew Cafe quest, there's actually a detour you can do. Instead of delivering the letter to the postman and him taking it to Madame Roma, if you just do it yourself, she'll give you a bottle. So I did that in my spare time, just so you're aware. All right. Are you ready to hear some hard-hitting stuff? All I can do right now is put on a brave face. Wait, I want to ask you something. Do you know whether or not the carnival has been cancelled? I'm sorry to bother you when you're in such a rush. I guess finding out the answer would do little good anyway. He has to protect the town, doesn't he? As long as there is even a single person left in this town, it is our sworn duty to protect them. At all costs! Stone Tower is in this direction. I shall speak no ill. Just get out of town while you're still able. Poor guy. He has to look at the moon fall on top of him. Oh my gosh. It gets worse. It's, it's not getting good. The ground's shaking! I think we need to get under the desk. All right, we're gonna go to break. Uh, we'll, we'll be, be right, right back. back. Oh dear. Hey guys, how are you? Are you prepared for the end of the world? Oh, good evening. We're milking the cows tonight. It's Chateau Romani. It's the first time I get to drink it. Until now, my sister's always said, wait until you're an adult. But why now? Uh... You've become an adult now, Romani. I see it in you. I'm acknowledging it. Then does Romani get a mask too? Well, yes. I'll make one for you. Sleep with me in my bed tonight. Okay, Romani? Yes, sister. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Okay. All right, well. Better get that mask. 10 p.m. Here we go. Welcome. You gotta look around. I'm doing a special sale. Check it out. Tonight's bargain is the all-night mask for use at bedtime. When you put it on, you can try and try to fall asleep, but you won't be able to. Pretty creepy, huh? Oh, 500 bucks. Ah, lovely. The last mask. There it is. For now. Oh my gosh. The moon's about to fall. 
Oh my gosh. Mr. Postman, are you okay? To me, the delivery schedule, it's the highest priority. What's this? Yeah. To myself, you have been doing a great job delivering the mail. I have a request for my hardworking self. All of the townsfolk have taken refuge. I want myself to flee too. Even if it is not written on the schedule, I want myself to flee. Please. From me. To me, the delivery schedule, it's the highest priority. Sorry, man. He's staying. He's, he's staying. Mr. Swordsman, are you here? Mr. Swordsman, are you here? I'll be on vacation for a short while. Please don't look for me. Mr. Swordsman, are you, are you okay? Mr. Swordsman, Mr. Swordsman, oh, I'm scared. I can't take it. I don't want to die. They're all gonna die. Everyone's gonna die. Just wait a moment. If you believe that the moon truly is falling, you'd best leave town immediately. Those who remain in town either don't believe the rumors or have given up all hope. It pains my heart to see children still playing in the streets because they have no idea what's going on. Oh dear, are you alright with not fleeing? It looks like this is it for the town, you know? You saw the moon, didn't you? It's gotten so huge! All the townsfolk have fled. You should flee too. Far away. I'm going to stay here. After all, that expert I gave my son's mask to might still come. Cowards! All of you! Not a one of you stayed! Disgusting excuses for apprentices! The lot of you! Ha! I'll have a fine carnival without you. If you're gonna fall, then fall already! It's right there. It is- it's right there. Oh my gosh! No, no! I must get a hold of myself! I must guard the gate until the captain's orders come! To a cap captain's orders come. Let's find the captain. Find the captain. Will he give the order? We are not people! We are soldiers! As long as there is even a single person left in this town, it is our sworn duty to protect them at all costs. So even the gate guards, on with our duties! Mr. Mayor, I tell you, it's hard to figure out which way things will go. See, because Muto said he would call my wife, the carnival is on. No! Look how close it is. And the bells ringing as well. Like the cry of help from Clock Town. This is rough. Just hearing all of the townsfolk just like expressing their grief, their fear. Romani and Kremia going to bed one last time. This game, it's so brutal. The bells. Oh my gosh. Here it comes. Oh man. Well, you had a good run. Happy nightmares, everyone. There goes Clock Town. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Oh, yeah, he's dead. <laughs>